A newly discovered asteroid has whipped past the Earth at 25,000 miles away. Experts still call it a pretty close call, but say it posed no risk to us. The asteroid, nicknamed Pitbull, is picking up a lot of attention, including by the folks at Wright State University, as Jordan Burgess found out. Right now, NASA is tracking thousands of objects, but there are others they don't know about. So what are the chances that one could hit Earth, and could anything be done about it? That's what we went to Wright State to find out. As students make their way from class to class on Wright State's campus, one professor is often watching something else, the skies. I mean, how much danger are we in from asteroids? I mean, it, it's hard to tell. Dr. Jason Dybel teaches physics at Wright State, but also has a passion for astronomy. He says the asteroid that passed closer to Earth than the moon on Sunday wouldn't have led to widespread destruction if it had entered our atmosphere. He tells us it would have been an event like what happened last year when a meteor exploded over Russia. It could be devastating to a building or something like that, but this is not something that's going to take out an entire city or anything like that. But Dybul thinks more funding should go toward monitoring objects like the one that passed so close to Earth Sunday. It wasn't spotted until about a week before its close call. We definitely have to be ahead of the game on this, but we shouldn't, we're nowhere near at the panic stage, but we just need to keep an eye out. And maybe if you add a few more eyes out there. He says the next step is to experiment with what could be done if an asteroid is on a collision course with Earth. He tells us it wouldn't be like the movies where the asteroid would be blown up. Just push it out of the way, just a little bit of a nudge, and orbital mechanics, you know, can save the Earth. It'll be a lot less spectacular. Uh, maybe you can still put a soundtrack to it. Now, the other worry with asteroids is not just impacting the planet, but also satellites. But I'm told in this case, it wasn't close enough to do that either. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.